I now want to look at angles uh, subtended from the diameter. Now I'm going again to use an application to investigate this. Um, so let's look at this application. Now, what you want to observe here is what happens when BC is the diameter. So, I'm going to move B up to there so that BC is the diameter. What do you notice? You notice that the angle at the circumference is 90 degrees. Okay? The angle at the circumference is 90 degrees. I'll change it again. Suppose I move these things around. Uh, now, I want to move until BC is the diameter and again you can see that the angle at the circumference is 90 degrees all right one more time if i move this one here and move this one so that bc is uh, the diameter and again we can see that the angle at the circumference is 90 degrees so what we can do is we can conclude and say that um, the angle subtended at the center well, the circumference by the diameter is always 90 degrees so we can say the angle subtended at the circumference So the angle that is subtended at the circumference by the diameter is always 90 degrees. Okay. Now we can apply this um, theorem to work out a few questions. So find the size of the lettered angles in each of these circles. So <clears throat> in the first case, we know that this angle here will be 90 degrees. So x is equal to 90 degrees. Um, if x equals to 90 degrees, y will be equal to 180 minus 90 plus 68, which means y will be equal to um, 22 degrees. Okay. Um, alternatively here, we know that x will be 90 degrees. And this is an isosceles triangle. So x is equal to 90 degrees. This is an isosceles triangle, which means y and z will be 45 each. So y is equal to 45 degrees and z is equal to 45 degrees because triangle ABC, because triangle ABC is an isosceles. triangle okay so that's the reason why 